wow, this is a, an overwhelming and um, difficult to read poster, isn't it? There's uh, a lot of text there. Yeah, and I find that background really distracting. I get a headache from just looking at it. Yeah, and the text is very small. Yeah, not an easy one to read. No. Who is it by? One can hardly read the name. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good start. We want to know no. whose poster it is. Um, okay. So if we look at the score sheet, the first yep. Um, first thing is the hypothesis, and I can't see one anywhere. No, I can't either. No, and I, I don't know if 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 I have to work so hard to find a proper hypothesis, if it doesn't jump at me immediately, um, it's not going to score highly to start with. No. Um, for for the viewers, we actually have read through it, and we haven't found it. No. <laughs> yeah. So so that would be a score of zero. Um, yep. For most yep. things, we have a score of between one and five, but if something's actually absent, then that's a score of zero. Yep. Yep. So what about the novelty? Is it clear how um, the question addressed in this builds on previous work? I don't think so. No. Because there is no referencing in the abstract and then it immediately jumps to methods so it's not clear at all how previous work builds the foundation of this no there's nothing really there, I, is there. I, want to I scroll think... down a bit to see what's below methods yep. we got methods then results then discussion and conclusions yeah I, I... I think what's really needed is um, a section at the start that's the introduction or at least the background to the yep, work. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, why, why, wh why have they done this? Why do we want to read it? What are we learning? Yeah. None of that's um, there. I mean, I think in the discussion it comes out that in the way that the research does build on previous work, so I wouldn't give it zero because there no. is something in there, um, but I'd be tempted to score that as a one. I think I'd agree with you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. A compelling one. <laughs> yes. And uh, one means poor. We, by the, yeah, we're, we're scoring from one to five, with one being poor and five being outstanding. Yeah. So the next item is the technical aspects. So were the methods adequately explained and appropriate for the results? I mean. They're, they're overly, overly explained, I would suggest. Um, yeah, yeah this it, isn't my part of science. There is a complete mismatch of um, detail here with respect to the, the format of, of communication yeah. here. It's a poster. I mean, this, this is an adequate level of detail for a scientific paper, but not for a poster. Yeah, we, we'd really be looking for a, a summary um, of the methods. So we want to know uh, some detail of the methods, but not, not the level of detail that's given here. It should be pointed out, though, um, those methods are um, very correct, robust. I mean, scientifically, there is absolutely no argument to be taken against those methods, no. but they're completely inappropriate for a poster. Yeah, it's all about the communication. Yeah. Um, so I've scored that as a two. Yes, so two yeah. means um, lacking. So it, it, it lacks in quality, in this case, quality of communication. Yeah. So yeah, two is the score that I had as well. Yeah, I would agree completely. Um, conclusions, though. I'll scroll down to the bottom for that. Conversely, from the rest of the poster, these are actually con quite concise. <laughs> yep. They are. Unfortunately, they're still very small print and yep. difficult to read, but um, they are concise. They um, kind of link to what was said before. It's sort of understandable how the conclusions link to things before. Yeah, so, so for that reason, I'd say that the conclusions are adequate. 
which gives yeah. the score of three. Yeah. yeah. How would you say they could have been improved? I think it's I think it's hard um, because we're not just looking at the conclusions in isolation. We're looking at how the conclusions relate to the hypothesis that that should be at the somewhere clearly stated in the poster. And because that isn't there, it's very hard to to um, to get a really good score for the conclusions because it doesn't link to the hypothesis. Yeah, yeah, that's one yeah. of the things that we look for. And the previous work and all of that. Yeah. 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 Correct. Yeah, three. I agree. Three. Definitely. So the next item is the context. So were the concepts in the poster well explained? And is the poster text legible, concise and <gasps> understandable? No, it's not. Absolutely not. not. At all. I no. really struggle to even physically read this. If this if I came across this in a poster session, I would likely not bother and walk away. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the, the size, the font size is is just too small um, for it to be easily readable. There are great big blocks of text that also yeah. makes it far less appealing to read. It's quite a daunting poster to come mm. across. There's something yeah. overwhelming about how it's just text. Yeah, yeah. The ratio of text to diagrams isn't good either. There's far too much text. Yeah, I'd give that a one. Yes, yes. Yeah. I yeah. mean, obviously we can't give it a zero because there's text there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but tempting as it might sound, but yes, it's a one. So I suppose if it was a blank piece of paper, then we'd give it a zero in that, would we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you'd have to do to get a zero for that, I think. Yeah. Um, so the next item is the use of figures. So I've just scrolled down so that we can we can see the figures. Um, again, this is this is a bit what, that is kind of less terrible than some of the other aspects yeah. of the poster. So I think the figures that are there, uh, the content of the figures is good. I think those are probably the most appropriate figures yeah. to describe the work that's been that's been presented. Um, but they're. they're but they're not they're not really named. So the figure captions don't they don't number. So figure one, figure two, figure three or something. So they're not referred to in the text. So they're kind of floating there. Yeah. Out of context a bit. Yeah. So what's the point of having figures if they're not mentioned in the text? If they, if, you know, there seems to be a disjoint between the text and the figures. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they they make sense in the bigger picture, but it, again, uh, there is just a mismatch. Yeah, and those figure captions are very long as well. Yeah, and I I can't even see a figure caption for the for the figure on the right. Um, I don't know if I'm missing that or um, I can't see that. Oh no, there it is. Sorry, yeah. it's just the the way that I had it. Yeah, okay. It's, hard it's, to see. Yeah. it's very it's very hard to see with those bits of leaves in the plants. <laughs> yeah, and the, the caption is kind of floating underneath the um the figure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, yeah. A bit sloppily cut out as well. And yeah. So I, I think it's a bit better than poor because the figures themselves are okay, but just it lacks no connectivity to the rest of, of the text and just the way it's produced is a bit sloppy. So I would yeah. say lacking to. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I just feel that I'm having to work too hard to get what those figures are showing. Yeah, yeah, the idea of a poster is to, to make it easy for the person who's reading it to understand yeah. what you've done and how you've done it. OK, next item is flow. <clears throat> so the flow of text, is it clear? Um, is, the, is it easy for the reader to know where to start and where, what to read next? I, I think it's one of the better aspects of yeah. it. There's clear flow in terms of abstract methods. Uh, forgot what comes next. I think results. And, yeah. and so forth. I mean, it's like a, like, a, like a scientific paper. So in that sense, there is a clear direction to read it. 
but um, I think there are bits missing mm. that would make that narrative much more obvious and easy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, go on. I was just going to say, going back to what we mentioned earlier, there's um, the bit that's really lacking for me is uh, an introduction or a, or background or kind of context. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that just goes to show how much missing out an important section like that can hamper your scores in other sections. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not just us scoring it, you know, independently of that, if you want to read a a poster at a conference and you want to convince people that your work is really worth looking at, you're missing out. You're, you're, you're not getting your audience. Yeah. So good bits and bad bits in here, but I, I don't think it can be more than an adequate. No. No, no, I think three is a fair score for that. I think so. You, you can see what you're supposed to read first and where it fits. It's not one of those posters that jumps all over the place and you sort of stand and go, I don't know where I'm going next. So, yeah, yeah. I think three yeah. is fair. So then the final point is the graphic design or the aesthetics. Well, it has them, so we can't give it zero, but they're not good. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. not at all. Um, Particularly this big picture as a background, that's uh, that some people think that's uh, appealing, but it just is so against helping us to read it. Yes. And it doesn't contribute any meaning to anything. No. So it, it is really making it just very crowded and busy and distracts from the actual message. It makes it so hard to read yeah the, the lack of contrast between the the background and the text it just makes yeah. it really impossible particularly um, down at the bottom here like yeah yeah that's what i'm looking at and and the other thing that i'd expect to see usually somewhere down here at the bottom um which is under this heading is 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 the references i can't see yeah. any, any references um i mean there are citations in in the text but there isn't yeah a reference yeah, yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Um, that's not there. And yeah, the, the, it's no consistent layout either. Like the figures are sort of sloppily cut out and pasted. Um, the figure captions, as we mentioned before, are sort of floating randomly below. Yeah. Um, and did you notice if you use the QR code, you actually get to a very random place that's not this paper at all? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. also just noticed, I don't think all of the headings are, they're certainly not in the same font, no. but they're also very much not in the same size of font. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So why is results suddenly in the middle and... Yeah. Um, yeah methods in italics, abstract. abstract underlined, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. not consistent at all. No. That makes a, a real difference, um, maybe a, a surprising amount of difference to the overall look of a poster. If you get all of your headings in the same format, it really um, makes the whole thing look more coherent. Just pulls it together and gives it that edge of professionalism. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think we're looking at a one. I don't I, I don't think we can give it more. No, yeah. no. I don't want to give it more than a one. <laughs> yeah, I think one is generous, yes. Yeah. So altogether, that gives us a total score of 13 out of 40 for this poster, which I think is pretty fair. Yeah. yeah. Actually, more than some posters in the past have scored. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there, there were some parts of it that were adequate. Yeah. Um, yeah. But there were lots of parts that were quite lacking, or words. Indeed. So. Good. I, I think that's all we have to say for this poster. Yeah. We need to have a word with Barry how to improve his poster. Definitely.